All right, well, verdict is in. The doctor says... Great. <laughs> Where is it most painful? Right here. Your wrist? Yeah, right here. Alright, I'll call Dad. Good morning, Seekers. We're glad you found us today. It's actually afternoon. We are, we weren't vlogging today and we were coming down to the park. We're playing Pokemon Go and Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Just having fun with the kids and we just got here to the park. Finally, we walked like a mile or two to the park and this happened. Before I could even get here, she fell off her scooter and we think she broke her wrist. So now we're waiting for Dave to come pick us up because we walked really far to get here. And going to take her to the Instacare, I guess, and find out if it's broken. Hold on. Well, let's find you a place in this shade to sit and wait. Mom, let's go look up here for a place in this shade so you can sit down. Well, it's starting to look like it's starting to swell up already and it's turned purple. So we're guessing probably broken. Still waiting on daddy. Um, I, what abs? I don't want you to break your, dad's here. I think he's calling. All right, well, we dropped the kids off at home and now we're here at the hospital with Virginia. She can't hardly move it, so we're pre pretty sure it's gonna be broken. We've been here and done this before. My bet, buckle fracture, but we'll see. Well, maybe it won't be broken. We'll hope. She's in a lot of pain, actually. <laughs> It's not as red now, huh? Maybe it's not broken. We'll see. I'm gonna x ray you. <laughs> you didn't get a sucker. They're right there. What? You don't need one? Okay. Don't want a sticker either? Well, verdict is in. The doctor says, she says that she doesn't think it's broken based on she's not in enough pain. I don't know how I feel about that. It kind of makes me uncomfortable. I feel like if you come to the hospital and you want an x-ray, you should be able to get an x-ray whether you want to or not. She's like, we'll spare you the radiation. And I'm like, okay. So if we end up having to go back, I will be kind of irritated. But if she's fine, she's fine. So I don't know. So I guess we're just gonna head back home. Adventure is over, at least for now. You didn't need a candy at the doctor, huh? But now you want a candy? What do you want? A drink? I'll help you get it, whatever you want. Tell me which one. Want anything else? No? Yes? Did you hurt your leg? You're limping. Did you? Hmm. Yeah, but, Virginia, you should tell her that it hurts. So yeah, I'm back over here at the park because I wanted to go catch some Pokemon and play my Harry Potter game. So I came back, it's like 9.30 at night and I'm here with Phineas and Oliver. I don't know where they went, fighting a gym somewhere, but look at this pretty view, guys. Such a nice, such a nice night, it feels so good out here. It's like 80 degrees. It was colder in my house than it was out here. So hanging out at the park with my kids is really fun.
be all of our dinner here. Break your arm. <laughs> Come on, Oliver. We don't have all day. Looks like you made it. Like I know what those are. Stand there and say, I'm king of the world. Yeah. You look pretty cool up there. What? You look pretty cool up there. Oh, guys. Today is a lesson on mom's intuition. I'm just gonna extend yesterday's vlog and add today's in because it kind of goes together. This morning, Virginia has woken up and her hand is really swollen. It's kind of red and spotchy. She iced it forever last night, took ibuprofen, it's still swollen. Could be soft tissue damage like the doctor says, but mom's gut last night was saying let's get an x-ray and mom's gut today is saying let's just get a freaking x-ray so we can relax if it's not broken and if it is then we can address it so Eloise actually lost one of her brackets off her braces so first we're going to the orthodontist and then we're going over back to the instacare to see if we can get an x-ray not too happy about having to pay for two visits when the doctor was like refusing to do an x-ray last night I should have just said I wouldn't leave it without one but you know Live and learn. Blue ones. Mmm, mm, that's tough. How many? Good luck. How are you guys? Well, it's been a day, but yeah. we're surviving. You're here? Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to be here, but okay. <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> Bam. And put your two hands together so we can see. See how much bigger? Yep. That's crazy. <laughs> it looks like this hand is like three sides it looks larger. Like two different people. <laughs> <laughs> <It does. laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Done, huh? That was fast. <laughs> you still taste gross again? No? Do you want to rinse it? They want the gummy. Yeah? Okay. Hair. We're back at the hospital. It's not late. I don't have it here to Sorry. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Except it's early. Okay, let's just walk. Could we not, could we walk like normal people and not like drunkards? <laughs> Come on, girls. <laughs> What's your deal? <laughs> <laughs> How we walk when I walk? Is drunkards a word? <laughs> no. I don't even know if that's a word. It sounds it sounds legit. Third day in the hospital in a row. This is literally because she came in for strep the day before. And then she, and she didn't have strep, but she came in. And then, and then she came in yesterday. She came in yesterday, and now she's, and now here, she's here again. It's like we live here. You're driving me crazy. Both of you. Wait, no, no, I won't after I read this. This day. Three shoulder surgeries. Save. Save. Serve. Serve. Dot, dot, dot. See? I think we've been waiting way too long. It's cold in here. I don't know. I probably won't be able to film the x ray or anything, but. Because I don't. I mean, I can stand in there, but I don't know if I can. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I'll try. Some people just want time. Yeah. I don't know if I'm some people. Don't sit there. He's going to think it's you. Sit your butt down. Come, you have to stand in the little room. This is the x-ray room, so you'll have to go behind the, through the window. You have to be on that side when they take the picture. It's kind of cool. 
Oh, you see all the different equipment and everything, huh? So the doctor just came in and told us that basically on the x-ray to him it looks fine. They're going to send it to the x-ray techs, but he's worried about something called a scaphoid fracture that you can't always see and might need a CT scan for. So he's actually recommending that we go upstairs to the ortho, ortho doctors um, in the next couple of days and have it scanned that way so that they can see if there's a fracture, he said, because that actually happened to his daughter. So he, he thinks, I think, based on the swelling, he's going to put her in a splint. Um, just to be safe, and she can't go swimming in it. It's my, it's mine red. I don't know. There we go. So that's where we're at. He thinks maybe, but not 100% sure, and that's kind of how I think I feel about it. I don't know. With it being so swollen right there in that area and tender to touch, he thinks maybe. So guess we'll be making another appointment. She has an appointment tomorrow with foot doctor upstairs, so I may as well make another one. <laughs> That's all we're gonna be doing the house appointments. Been here every single day. <laughs> Good point because we really are coming in tomorrow already. Four days. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's pretty crazy looking. <laughs> but you got in a cast for six weeks, and she would have a cast for dance. Yeah. Well, dance technically starts Wednesday. Yep. So there's three straps that Harry kind of want to go in order. Take the one down to the top, the middle one in your hand, and then kind of work your way up. So I remember how to do it. <laughs> Pretty fancy. She can't open it. Why didn't you open it before you picked this thing up? You can't open, open it. Open it. Here. You can't. Oh. Oh my gosh. What do I know? Sorry. Stop pointing at me. I don't like that. Well, then go away from it. She doesn't need help. She can do it. Oh my gosh. You can't twist it. Put it in all the way. Push it in. There you go. Push it all the way up. Come on, you got strength in there. You actually don't have that much strength. Ah. Okay, let it go. Mission accomplished. All right, let's go to treat. Okay. No, I didn't notice your snake. It's kind of creepy. Now, what is this gigantic thing? You're gonna, you tell me how you say what you're gonna do with that. I want that. So this to here. You know, it doesn't taste that great the next day, right? No, Don't chug the whole thing. Okay, I'll take six. And you're having a little one? I want a big one. Yeah, no. I'll get a big one if I want. No. Or I'll yes. take... There's a lot of caffeine in the big ones. There's a lot of caffeine in the little ones. Yeah. It's too much caffeine for you. And she should put it back. Mm. She has a broken hand. Alrighty, peeps, we are home. So just as we were leaving, um, the nurse came in to like put the brace on and everything. And um, she was talking to us and basically said that the reason that they're being so cautious about it and like having us go and talk to like a specialty doctor is because if it happens to be this little tiny scaphoid bone, which is what the doctor thinks it might be because of where he presses on her hand, how it hurts. Um, if it is broken, Apparently, it has a high chance that it could actually die because it's a teeny bone. So that's why they want her in the splint and want her to be really careful and not take it off. She's disappointed because her friends are going to go in swimming this week and she was going to go to her friend's house and swim in the pool and they told her that she should not do that. Um, I figured she could go sit in the water and just not get the cast wet or the splint thing wet, but I don't want her taking it off. They don't want her taking it off to go or swimming. she could just put a plastic bag over it. She could put a plastic bag over it or something. And I can't go underwater. I, I just would sit. I, I don't think I would swim. 
So anyway, that's apparently why he was concerned. He didn't say anything, but she was like, yeah. I think maybe she wanted us to know that even though it's a tiny bone, because it's a tiny bone, it could be more serious. And so if it is broken, she needs to be really careful because messing around with it too much could cause it to be horribly damaged. And I don't know what they do if that happens. I actually have no idea. So I'm going to try really hard not to Dr. Google that. And I'm going to call and make an appointment with the specialty doctors over there for, I guess, a CT scan or something. I don't know. So... It's been a crazy day. I'd show you what I see on the front porch, but it might be too scary. Yeah, he runs. He runs. He runs back in. He's like, oh, she's going to film me. Oliver just came outside. This is too big for one hand. Without his shirt on. And, and, and his hair was all. It's 2 o'clock. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. He probably just woke up. Probably. Story of Oliver's life. All right, well, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. I haven't eaten anything. She hasn't eaten anything. We're starving. We're going to go in and make ourselves some food. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and seek your truth. Bye, seekers. Find us later.